Uh, species Survival Plan had recommended Batari, a female Malayan tiger that was at the San Diego Zoo to come to Knoxville and um, to be paired with one of our males. And the, the way that normally happens is um, we will fly out commercially like regular people, um, go to the zoo, load the tiger up, and we would normally fly her back on a FedEx plane. But because of some um, COVID restrictions, some, some staffing problems, some scheduling conflicts through no fault of their own, they weren't able to honor that flight. We had already planned everything on both ends. We had permitting done, we had quarantine ready, we had travel plans on the other end worked out. Everything was worked out. So what did we do? We flew out and we drove her back. So we rented, um, we rented a truck and um, an enclosed truck while we were out in San Diego and drove the, ended up being about 40 miles, 40 miles, so <laughs> ended up being about 40 hours <laughs> uh, to get her all the way back. And, and obviously with a tiger, we can't stop and, and rest. I mean, we had to drive straight through. So Kelly Cox, who's the Assistant Director of Animal Care and, our, and thankfully our safety officer, um, went along um, we both went along and we shared the driving all the way and did really really well we're both um we are both road trippers with our family we it, it's nothing for us to knock out 16 17 hour days um we did great together um everything went went well i mean went, went as well as it possibly could could have done um batari was calm most of the time we would stop periodically and feed and water her and check on her and make sure she was comfortable we would stop for an hour and let her rest and get away from the road vibration and all of that and um, just kept on pushing through so it was um, it was actually pretty fun the landscape the landscape of the country is as much as we could see there's a whole bunch of the cool part that was in the middle of the dark um, and so we didn't get to see a lot of that but I mean just seeing the the difference in terrains and the changes in elevation and and the different people and the different vegetation we're both I mean Kelly and I are both biologists and we love plants and we love geology and so I mean just getting to see all the cool stuff along the way was was um, was really really fun um, so there, there were a couple moments of um, just craziness I was just just <laughs> Jack Kerouac craziness <laughs> <laughs> and um, and I, yeah, I think it was the sleep deprivation as much as much as it, and you know the responsibility of having this Malayan tiger with us and making sure it was safe and and, and comfortable and and all of that. I, th I think um, most of the time Kelly and I put her needs, I know for sure, way beyond the needs of us. We we arrived um, really really late in the night, and um, the carnivore team and the vet team and um, our operations department unloaded her the next morning and um, without a hitch i mean there this is a well-oiled machine here whenever we do this and um, she's adjusted well um, she she was a little um upset the first day or so you know it's a new environment it's you know it's lots of new different smells and sounds and that sort of thing so um but she's calmed down quite a bit is eating well is sleeping well and and seems no worse for the wear quarantine here in the clinic anywhere from 30 to 60 days um, just depending on what, what we find. We did a bunch of pre-ship testing on the other end to cover some of that on the other end. But um, yeah, she'll, she'll quarantine here and then she'll immediately go down to, um, to um, Tiger Forest. So we maintain all of these populations under human care based on um, creating the, the, um, the best recommended genetic diversity of these populations. And as if they're wild populations, so that's, that's what our goal is. It's our job as an AZA accredited zoo to, to, to go along with those moves and do those moves. Um, you know, there's only 350 of these things left left in the world of Malayan tigers. So it's imperative that we, we move these animals around on best po possible chances of reproducing um, that, that we can. It's a, a, a greater, greater, greater cause, greater good. I hope to never eat a cheese it again as long as I live. <laughs> And I said numerous times, if they had any idea, look at that family over there, just driving along, listening to the radio, and here there's a critically endangered Malayan tiger cruising by them at 60 miles an hour.